Expanding on the techniques I showed in the increases and decreases video, I will make a v-neck camisole, which was a request from a viewer. I am using a 100 gram ball of 95% acrylic yarn, which I think is DK weight. So this is the idea. I plan to make two pieces, a left and a right. I am on the large side, so I will cast on all 44 needles and knit 50 rows. Then do decreases until I have three stitches. Make an eye cord for the straps and then do everything in reverse for the back. So increase to 44 needles, do another 50 rows and then repeat all of that for the right side. So let's get started. I've placed some tape so I know where to stop and I cast on 44 needles with scrap yarn. Now I add my working yarn and knit 50 rows. Now it's time for the decreases. I showed you two techniques in the video last month. For this project we want the finished edge option. So knit the row as normal. Before we knit the edge stitch I'm going to lift it up and place it on the previous needle. Now we can knit both stitches together. Now we zip over to the other side and do the same thing. So I stop the machine just before the final needle raises all the way. Use my loom pick to lift the stitch off and place it onto the needle next to it and knit them both together. And we will decrease both sides until I have three needles left on the machine. I knit them and then I'm keeping the yarn out of the guide, spin the machine all the way around until I reach the three cast on stitches, place the yarn back in working position and knit those needles. Hold the yarn out of the way, spin all the way around and repeat for 20 rows. Now it's time for the increases. These are super easy. We're just going to extend beyond the project. So these are the three original stitches. Here I continue to knit the next needle, drop my yarn under the pin, back the other way, and now I extend on this side. Here I continue to knit the next needle, drop my yarn under the pin, back the other way, and continue increasing until I have 44 needles or I reach my tape. Now the easy bit. I knit 50 rows, cast off with a darning needle and waste yarn. Now repeat these steps for the other side and lay out your pieces like so. You want to join these seams. Having a feline supervisor is optional. And you can seam up the front, but I opted for sewing on some buttons instead, just to make the seam up the front look more intentional. I finished the edges with a few rows of ribbing. I will link a tutorial on how to do afterthought ribbing in the cards. So I thought I'd end the video with a little review of this project. It's not perfect. It actually turned out a little big for me. So for reference, I'm a size UK 16. My measurements are on the screen. Next time I think I'll try casting on 35 stitches instead. The straps also turned out a little long. I am only five foot two. So I think maybe next time I'll do 10 rows instead of 20. I did do a sneaky try on before I sewed on the buttons and I knew it wasn't a perfect fit and I lost a little motivation. Um, so I sewed on the buttons in a rush so I could film the reveal um, and they came out a little wonky. So I think when I do it again, I'll probably mark out the placement next time instead of just eyeballing it. If you missed my tutorial on increases and decreases, I'll pop the video on the screen right now along with a playlist to some other projects you may want to try out. If you give this a go and find a perfect formula for your size, please leave a comment down below and maybe we can create a community size guide. Happy knitting and I'll see you in the next one.